Knobs and Unearthly Legend take the field. I guess we're going to start with a 1v1. <laughs> ah, here we go. The other players take the field. We've got the Reapers in blue, the King Boos in orange, and we are underway. Yeah, I expect this game to be a whole lot faster, uh, Croc, as Luke is going to have to take control of this back. Herb's going to put this on the back wall. Who's going to carry this out? Tries to put it down, back up against the wall. Knobs has got to get up, make a touch. Get a quick touch outside. Luke Bo is going to take control of this. Pops it up toward the middle. Gets an air carry down toward the middle. And try to put it over a legend. Legend gets a nice 50. Knobs is actually there to take the, the possession. Puts it ball toward the box. Herbert is going to take control, pushes it out. Uh, yeah, these two are going to feel each other out for a while, Croc. So uh, we're going to see a lot of good Rocket League here. Yeah, and that's one thing I was going to talk about. You see a lot more of a feeling out period. I mean, you know free goal pretty much here in the premier tier uh lucapo gets a pretty solid 50 pops out for knobs uh, unfortunately gaher paderp did, did i say that right gaher paderp yeah we're gonna we're gonna just hope i said it right he can't quite recover to get back to it so it's going to be 1-0 for the reapers here early on but yeah in this premier tier we're gonna see a lot more of a feeling out period as uh, they adapt to each other's play styles. Really good delay here by Luke Capo and the demo from Knobs. No one can get back from the uh, the King Boost in order to make a play. Unearthly Legend just simply destroyed. Yeah, the communication was really there. You could tell that uh, he, he told him to go ahead and get, give me the demo so I can walk this in. A two to one, four 14 left rock. Unearthly Legend tries to take an early shot, will get challenged early on, and now Knobs is going to take pressure onto the orange half of the field. Up off the backboard, does find the flip reset, puts it down. Unearthly Legend, awkward, does get a whiff on the ball, able to find it on the second go-round. Now up on the wall, Lukop. Lukapo puts it in towards the middle for Knobs. Now chasing back, Gehrpaderp is not going to be able to get a great shot on net, still rolling. Uh, an epic save, you know. <laughs> Gotta pad the stats a little bit. Good job by Luke there on the epic save. Oh, no, beautiful demo from Unearthly Legend as Knobs was going to get a pretty solid touch on that ball. Not sure if it would have led to a goal, but definitely some good pressure. A lot more physical play coming out in this Premier game than in the Contender gameplay so far. Yeah, absolutely. But all these guys move so quick and think so fast, and they're just able. It was a nice shot coming in from Unearthly Legend. Makes it 2-1, to one, 320 left. Gets it around, uh, I believe that was Luke Capo. Yeah, it, you know, yeah. chat. If we if we're saying names wrong, you feel free to correct us. By the way, but for now, I'm going with Gherpaderp and is it Luke Capo or Luke Capo? Capo. 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 Yep. Oh, it's Luke Capo. More Luke. I don't know. <laughs> uh, that sound. That sounds a little fishy. That sounds a little fishy. <laughs> Luke Capo. Takes it all the way to the net. Unearthly Legend with a beautiful save. Not able to get it fully cleared out. So Knob's able to come back with a putback. Puts it in for the 3-1 advantage. Uh, let's see exactly what happened here. Oh, he did get a second touch. Luke did, which allowed Knob's to come in and put the easy goal into the top left. Off the kickoff, looks like Unearthly Legend might get a free one here. Does slot it into the bottom right. Knobs cannot get back from the corner in time. Uh, let's see exactly what happened on the kickoff. Does look like the kickoff went okay for Luke Capo, but unfortunately, Unearthly Legend just more behind the ball, flips straight through it, gets the advantage and the goal. Luke Capo went to, go ahead. No, you go ahead. Luke Capo will take, uh, actually, Gerberdip's kick into the other side, comes off the wall. Luke Capo's backwards, you got to make a backwards touch, pushed up into the corner. Knob's going to try to take control of this out of the corner. Gets a 50. Luke Capo's pushed back toward the box, out in front. He's going to get a, a carry here, puts it up over Unearthly Legend. Unearthly Legend is able to make a touch. Knob's able to not quite beat. Gerberdip, Gerberdip takes it off the wall. Knob's going to put this up toward the back end side. He's going to clear it out toward the other side. Attempted a shot there, coming back the other way. It actually gets a car on it. He's able to push that down toward the front. It's down in front of the box. He's backwards. Luke Capo is going to make a touch. To Herbert Herb, Knobs 50s him backwards. Knobs going to take this up the wall. Uh, the Legend Hammer going to battle. Luke Capo is going to try to 50 this back into the, the orange half as he gets pushed out on the back wall. Knobs going to try to make it. Almost doesn't get there. Gerber's got, got an easy shot. What a save by Knobs. Unbelievable. Croc, yeah, that was, that really was good save. Really, really good save by Knobs. But unfortunately, I think it was also 
you know, uh, precluded by a not so great shot by Gerherpeder. You know, you don't really expect that lackluster of a shot at this sort of tier, but this is the kind of shot you do accept. A really good double tap from uh, Lucapo to put it down in the middle for Kanabs. Kanabs sends it home four to two in favor of the Reaper so far. Uh, or Lucapo. I'm sorry. I'm gonna probably continue to mispronounce that one just because it's like rolling off the tongue. What's what's that? Lucapo. 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 Ooh, Lucapo. Nice Lucapo. <laughs> Unearthly Legend gonna start changing his name to LeBron's James with a dunk like that. Really good play here. Gets four or five touches on it. Four to three now. Cuts the lead to one. And the King Boos are not out of this yet. And this is what we probably came to expect from the number one and number two team in Premier. Yeah, Kanab's gonna beat him over to the 100 boost. Actually gets a bump. Absolutely nasty. That was just nasty bump. Five to three, 134 left. Just, there's not much else to say about that. He said the only thing that could be said, which was nasty bump. Just, ugh. You hate to see it if you're a if you're a booze fan. You love to see it if you're a Reapers fan. Kickoff ensues. Five to three. A minute thirty remaining. In here in game number two, Reapers up one to zero, and it looks like we may have a little bit of a latency issue going on. I don't know if that's showing up for anybody else. I hope I don't get disconnected from the game. But looks like I'm good so far. Yeah? All right, cool. So <laughs> Knobs yeah. puts it off the wall. The Capo does get a great defensive play off the backboard. Read by Unearthly Legend. Unfortunately, Gerherpaderp was uh, involved in a bump attempt, it looks like. So unable to take a shot afterwards. Ball control here for the King Booze. Puts it over to the right. Shot attempt is going to spill out into the corner off of the shanked shot. Now sending back into the blue side after Kanab's tried to start a counterattack. Beautiful, beautiful placement. Gerherpaderm just comes off of that side wall off of a really good pop to himself and gets the ball right over Lucapo, just right into a spot he can't save it. No chance there. Five to four. We've only got 46 seconds left in this game, and the King Boos are showing why they, they deserve to be taken seriously, even though the Reapers are the number one seed and have that one game advantage. Uh, Lucapo is going to try to take control of this on the right hand side. He's going to get a 50 off out toward the box. Herbert's got to make a weird touch. Lucapo comes in. Kanabs is there. Tries to get it by Unearthly Legend. A little bit of a tie up there. Gets pushed out. Unearthly Legend is going to try to take control of this. Try to get a push, push on Knobs. Herb puts a nice shot on goal. Can he get back to it? Ooh, oh, no. Five to five. 20 seconds left. Oh, that is just so sad. Really great shot from Gerherpader that I thought was going in. Not so great of a shot by Unearthly Legend, but fortunately for him, Kanabs is just about as awkward as you can be on that post. Ends up putting it in, and we are tied with 20 seconds remaining. In five to five, Kanabs taking control here on the left side of the net. Good flick, beats one, not two. Luke Capo able to put it back up to the backboard. Unearthly Legend being patient, able to clear it away off the shot. Now a bump, so Gerherpaderp actually misses the ball. This could be dangerous. Lucapo doesn't want to overcommit. Leaves the ball there, touches the ground, and we've got overtime. Yeah, it was well played. Lucapo is going to try to take control of this on the right-hand side as our Northern Legend gets a touch on it. Luke's going to push it up over the box. Kadab's going to try to take control, take the 100 boost maybe. No, it gets it out, out toward the middle with a nasty demo. Lucapo is going to try to take control of this off the wall. Pushes it out. Tries to get a, a, a flick over him. Knobs going to retreat. Lukapo puts it back toward the middle. Knobs going to get a nice hard touch on it. Another lens got to make a touch off to the right hand side. Knobs going to put this up over Legend. Lukapo's got to wait. He's going to try to take control. Push it out toward Knobs. Picks up the 100 boost in the right hand corner. Gets a nice pop off the wall. Pushes it down the side. Tries to get another touch over Legend. Pushes it out toward the back wall. Going to come out toward the middle. Lukapo's there. Can't quite. Can't quite uh, commit to it. Croc, uh, this is, yeah, unfortunately, there it goes. Six to five, 53 seconds into overtime. Well played. Yeah, really good counterattack here. Just an unfortunate 50 with Luke Capo. And Gerherpaderp is the first one able to read that ball. Puts it in. And uh, that is, you know, the Reapers were in full control of that game for almost the entire game. Uh, and King Boos just come back late, tie it up, and win it in overtime. 
we are tied in the series one to one moving into game three uh i don't think it's a question to anybody that Unear unearthly legend was the mvp this game yeah he with played a, really well uh, yeah that was just up, uh, absolutely uh, insane a thousand ten points on four goals four saves and eight shots uh the shots for both teams were even uh mm -hmm. six to five that's what you get and yeah it was well played by both teams Yeah, I think we're going to see probably a lot more of the same coming into game numbers three all the way up until seven if we get there. Really good, solid play, just back and forth seesaw probably. Um, you know, it's hard to tell in these upper lobbies because either you get a goal because of something dumb and stupid that no one ever expected or you just get an insane play. And they're very few and far between you get something that happens in the middle of that where it's just an average play and bad defense, right? You're either going to see a fantastic flick, a dribble play that just destroys everybody, a fake, or just like 50s and bounces that no one can predict. So it's definitely going to be interesting to see what happens as we move on into game three. Already 20 seconds in and the pressure is coming out from the King Boos. Take it away, Strut. Kanov's going to take this out to the left-hand side. He's going to try to get a pass with early legend. The, the orange team is definitely putting up a... a very offensive uh, push here at the beginning of the game. 30 seconds left, or 30 seconds gone in the game, and Kanov's going to take this up, try to get another touch. Gets 50 up into the middle. Lukapo's going to be able to be hurt. Uh, he was going to be able to be even there. He's going to take, push it out towards Nov. Nov takes a shot toward the goal, and the ledge is there to push it back. Lukapo's a little overcommitted, pushes it back toward his right hand corner. Kanov's back in the goal. He's going to have to make a stop here, get to it, push it out toward the right hand side, get the nice uh, carom off the, the sideboard there. As Honor of the Legend is able to push it back, Luke Cable is going to have to make a touch here. He's going to push it out toward the middle. Looks like he's going to get an air carry out toward the middle. Here, Herbert puts it back in. Gnob's kind of backwards and awkward. And no, what a save coming off the sidewall. Unbelievable. Luke Cable is going to take this off the corner, push it out toward Knobs. Is, he side flips. He's just waiting on it to come out. And he's going to have to get back and retreat. Herb's going to try to 50 him, put it back into the box. Uh, amazingly played game so far. It's slowed down a lot. Uh, two shots for the King Boos. The Reapers have one shot and two saves, one save for the Boos. Uh, yeah, what you're seeing here is it's just great Rocket League crux. Yeah, really good Rocket League. I thought an Earthly Legend might have a shot there. Still showing his prowess on the field, but as are all of the other players. Only 50 points for Gehrpaderp and 72 for Luke Capo right now. But all four players really playing well. 314 left to play, and we're still stuck at a 0 0 scoreline. Gehrpaderp looking for a teammate in the center. Can't find an Earthly Legend. Luke Capo gets a good 50, still uh, trickling back towards the orange net. Great save by Unearthly Legend on the shot from Knobs. This one's going to be a little awkward for Gehrpaderp. Uh, probably needed to send it further than that or keep it closer. That was really in no man's land where you just put that ball, and that's oh why you're going to get double touched on just like that. Beautiful play from Knobs. You cannot give away possession of the ball that freely and that easily in this tier. It's either got to be a banging clear or you got to keep it close to you and make a second touch. Uh, it was a little a bit of an awkward play for Gehrpaderp. We'll give him that, but still, it's got to be a better touch. If you think you're going to hit it kind of like that mid-range, put it to the outside. Right in the middle like that is not the play. As uh, Kanovs is deleted there, he gets uh, he to push the ball up. Luke Bose pushes it back to his corner. Gehrpaderp is going to try to take a shot here, try to get a double off of it. He's able actually to get the touch. Luke's up on the wall, pushes it out toward the right left-hand side. Picks up the 12 boost. He's going to get another 50 out toward the middle. Kanovs may be into this. Comes up toward the middle. Gehrpaderp's going to take control. Push it back into the blue half. Going to have a nice shot coming. Luka Pope comes in and bangs that up. Pushes it down quickly down the right-hand side. Looks he's going to flick toward the middle. Arnold really puts it up off the backboard. Kanavis goes up. Puts it back into the box. Arnold is going to make a nice... He gets deleted off. Picks up the 100 boost. Comes back left-hand side. Pushes it toward the middle. Gehrpaderp's up. Gets a nice 50 back down and toward the blue half. Uh, amazingly played game. I mean, you, you, this is so fast, uh, Croc. It's, it's amazing. These guys are, are hats off the both teams. Hats off to both teams indeed. Unearthly Legend trying to start an attack. Need Looking to tie the game up here. Gehrpaderp going to have some time. Ops to go ahead and pop it over the head of Luke Capo. Sees him cheating up a little bit. Unearthly Legend with the shot. What a goal there to tie it up as Knobs almost gets back in time but can't quite make the save. I think Luke Capo made the right decision there to put it up above, but Unearthly Legend just reads it a little bit faster than Knobs does and can't get back in time. 1-1, one to one, 144 left to play. Diagonal 50 here comes off into the middle. Kanov's going to have to make a touch. Kerberger's going to try to take a shot. Goes up, off the crossbar. Amazing. Great shot. Kanov's going to get a play. 
out toward the middle. Derv has got to play this out to the right-hand side. Dukla is going to meet him for a 50 back high up off the wall onto the box. Gets it out toward the right-hand side. Kanab is going to be able to push this back into the box. Or right, is going to make a play. A little seesaw battle here. A little chess match going in the corner. A great touch back into the corner. He's going to pick up the 100 boost. Luke Capo's around him. He's going to try to get this out toward the middle. Amazing save by Herbert to read that. Back toward the middle. Gets pushed out far. Kanab's going to have to retreat a little bit. Try to take a carry. Pushes it up over. Uh, picks up the 100 boost on the right hand, the left hand side. Gets a pop toward the middle. Luke Cable is going to take a shot. It's in. Unbelievable. Two to one. 59 seconds left, Croc. Yeah, that, uh, just beautiful ball control all around for the past 45 seconds from the Reapers. And finally, Kanab's able to get a dime to Luke Capo, just uh, just uh, encroaching in the in the center of the field there. Puts it home for a 2-1. to one. We are less than 60 seconds away from the end of game number three. Now Luke Capo is going to be put in a dangerous spot here as Unearthly Legend takes a shot. Now going back the other way, a 2v1 Gerherpaderp in a dangerous spot now into the corner. Luke Capo gets a couple of touches, four touches, five touches into the center, but unfortunately goes all the way across six touches and Knobs now finally gets a chance to go at the ball. Let's see if he can get another flick here. We'll be looking for the bump. Won't be able to find it. Cleared away by Gerherpaderp and they are going the other way. Off the backboard now, Knobs puts it down towards the side, but Gerherpaderp is there, keeps the pressure bumped, won't get a second touch. Capo now trying to control. Her Here's the demo coming from behind him. Lands on Gerherpaderp, so Unearthly Legend takes control of the ball. Going to try and go for a shot here, maybe looking for a fake, but either way, Kanab's able to read it. Reaper still up 1-0. Clock ticks down to four seconds. Three, two, and one. That is going to be it as the Reapers take game number three. And a 2-1 uh, advantage going so far. Luke Capo immediately leaves the match. Possible car change, possible sub. We will have to see what's going on. We have seen uh, Picasso a little active in the chat. I do believe Picasso is the Reapers player, correct, Shrett? Yes, he's our, he's the third Reaper player for the uh, yeah. for the Scoville team. So we might I, be I seeing a little out, sub here. I want I wanted to point out that, that these two teams played such a chess match in that in that game. It was just amazing to watch. Great to watch. Fun to watch. Either team could have won. It's it's just amazing. These guys have extremely great talent. Yeah, and I think that everyone will pretty much agree when I say that Knobs deserves the MVP of that game. Unearthly legend, best player on the field, in my opinion, uh, out of all four of these players just in general. I think Knobs did get MVP for this game. Really good play, really good ball control. Unearthly legend was a defensive mastermind in this game. Five saves out of the nine shots coming in from the Reapers, just unable to really get any shots on the net. Converted on one out of his two attempts, but when you've only got two attempts, how many goals can you expect to score? Got to get, got to keep firing the ball at the net a little bit more. Unearthly legend has the skill to really just come out and snipe this goal, and he's got to use that skill. But for now, we do have the Reapers taking a two to one lead in the series. Four players all back on the field. No subs change. Luke Capo is back. Take it away, strut into game number four. Straight off kickoff, Kanaz puts this out toward the uh, orange half, excuse me, Luke, and Luke Capo is going to have to take control of this out of the corner. Ball comes up, dangerous in the middle. Golden Luigi, actually there is a sub. Golden Luigi's in the game, uh, by the way. Cry. Oh. Luke is going to put this up and carry this down in the front. Tries to get it up over. Kanaz going to have to make a touch. It's a scary touch coming off the backboard. Ooh. Well played by uh, the blue team. Capo is going to try to make a 50 out toward the front. As the Unearthly Legend puts his back up on the back wall. Knob's going to make a touch out toward the middle. It's a weird side flip coming out. Luke Capo is going to make a touch. Put it out toward the right, left hand side, excuse me. Right, he makes a nice cheeky touch out toward the top. Luke Capo is going to get a little carry with, an, uh, with a little bump. Try to get it over one. Knob's going to make a touch. He's going to have to beat Luigi to this. Luke Capo puts this out toward the left-hand side. May get another touch. Tries to 50 it. Tries to get a bump. Knobs puts this out toward the right-hand side. He's going to almost beat him. Luke Capo is going to be there. Trying to make a shot. What an amazing shot. In off the player. Into the goal. One to nothing. Four to one. Uh, four minutes left. Croc, take over. Yeah, Luke Cavo just puts it there. Puts it down on the bottom left. Unearthly legend tries to come in. Send it out. Unable to get there. Uh, look, you know, a little bit of an own goal, I guess. But really, that was going in either way. 
Uh, I do apologize for not catching the sub earlier. They both start with a G. That's going to be my excuse. I don't know if that's actually why I didn't catch it, but I'm sticking to it for now. Gerherpeter played well in the last two games. Golden Luigi coming in, and now Kanab's just showing off uh, why he belongs in our MVP list. Just reads the ball well. Uh, you know, if you're at Premier, you know, you know if they're hitting that ball off the backboard. Reads early that he's not hitting the ball, creeps up into the goalie box, reads the straight down bounce early, doesn't give it a lot of time, puts it straight into the net. No one's going to be saving that one. 338 left to play, moving on into the orange half again as the Reapers take ball control and pressure control. Golden Luigi going to get beat on that challenge there, and Luke Capo gets a free one as Unearthly Legend unable to get back maybe creeped up a little far here luigi really didn't have clear ball control and unearthly legend was on the wrong side of the half field line gonna put the fault on unearthly legend for that one yeah luke able made a nice turn was able to get it by the defender and uh and pop that one in three another 328 left crock is the uh 50 out in the middle ball goes deep into the orange half under the legend is going to take this off the wall luke capo retreats golden luigi's trying to figure out what under the legend needs out of him right here luke capo is going to push this up over Nice 50 right there. Knobs is up. He's gonna actually gonna get another touch off the backboard. Pushes this off to the right hand side. Gets a nice air carry with a pinch. Golden Luigi's waiting on it. He gets a nice pop. Takes a shot toward goal. Luke Capo pushes out to the left hand side. Picks up the hundred boost. He's pushing out. Gets a nice touch. Kind of a, a wacky touch miss there. Hunter Legend puts this up. Knobs gonna 50 him back into the corner. Luke Capo's waiting. Golden Luigi's got to make a touch here. Goes back out toward the middle. It's just a dangerous one. It's down in front of the box. Straight down. Heavy. Luke is going to go for the 100 boost on the outside. Luigi's going to push this down. Kanab's able to actually get there back into the blue corner. And, uh, you know, a couple of mistakes have been made by the Orange team, and unfortunately, uh, that's led to the 3-0 at this point. But there, uh, th there's a lot of game left, and as it goes in right there, Unearthly, Unearthly Legend showing why he does what he does. Pushes it down. 3-1, 230 left crock. Yeah, really good play here. Uh, just r really good patience. Gets the jump out of Luke Capo and then able to put it under. Uh, does get the first goal on the board for the King Boos, and they needed it. Uh, I'm not, not sure exactly what's happening here, but they haven't looked great on the midfield part of their game this game, King Boos. Uh, but they they're able to get a goal on the board. Let's see if they can get some more and tie the series up in a 2-2. But also, just uh, wanted to take this moment to let chat know, anyone that is new, I did notice a little bit of a conversation going on for the new people. This is an absolutely open league. We have a 1s, 2s, and 3s league, and we encourage your signups in every single one. The 3s league has already started and is underway. The draft is soon, so if you do sign up now, you will be a, free a permanent free agent for the rest of the season. However, we do encourage... Oh, what, what a just beautiful goal from our unearthly legend here. Just able to read it well. Luke Capo just can't quite make the save. Almost gets there, but not quite enough. But this is the playoffs for the two season. So the twos signups will be open on, opening up soon. And I'm not sure where we're at in the ones league, but it is open to all ranks and all skill levels. So feel free to join the Discord, get signed up, and come play some Rocket League and make some friends. I don't know who lads are going to take control of this. Luke Capo sitting there waiting on him. Canals back in the goal. Luke Capo's going to take control of this. Comes up the right hand side. We got a demo possibility here. He's going to try to put it up over on the edge. It is able not to get to it. Lukapo puts it in four to two, one twenty nine left crock. That was a that was a great air carry stall right there. It was uh, very well played by Lukapo. Yeah, just you know, this it's really hard to put some of these plays into words as a caster. Just beautiful play. There's so many different things going on that when I feel like I describe the plays, I feel like I'm not doing it good justice because there's about 20 things running through players at this skill level's minds and why they make the choices that they do. And we can we only have time to talk about one or two before we have to go on to the next crazy play. But just know that these guys, there's a reason that they're in the premier tier and why it is the most coveted title in the RSC Discord to be a premier player. These guys know what they're doing. They have the skill and they put it on display here for all of you live on Twitch. This is the number one and number two seed battling it out we are in game number four. The Reapers do have a one game advantage and it looks like they were almost gonna get another goal there. Unearthly Legend bringing it back in the final 60 seconds, trying to get the goal into, uh, or the game into a 4v3 state. 
Doesn't look like he's going to be able to make it happen. So we're going to tick down into the final 30 seconds and Reapers have a two goal lead. Do you think the King Boos can bring it back or do you think Reapers hold it? I think the Reapers hold it in this one. Uh, they're playing really strong right now. The ball is going to go in right there. Gold Luigi wasn't able to get up and touch it and uh, force that one away. 25 seconds left, 5 to 2, Croc. 5 to 2, and it does look like the uh, the Reapers are going to take game number 3 for themselves, uh, or game number 4, rather, that will be their game number 3. Uh, the fat lady hasn't got on the stage and started singing yet, but she is waiting and warming up. Unearthly Legend comes back into the corner, down by three with 18 seconds remaining. That's a goal every, uh, what is that, six seconds, I think? Yeah, six seconds. Doesn't look like it's going to happen. Sub 10 seconds now, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. It is not going to be enough time. Luke Capo gets the carry into the orange zone, and we are going to see the Reapers carry a heavy advantage into game number five at a 3-1 series advantage. And you have to ask yourself, because I was, I was kind of asking myself, do you make a sub here again if you're King Boos? Because in my opinion, this was the worst game that King Boos had played. I don't want to say that it's because of Golden Luigi coming in, because Golden Luigi played great. He played fine. He played just fine. Unearthly Legend also played fine, but they just didn't seem to sync up. Yeah, so, it's, a chess, it's a chess match, Croc. So both teams are, are there it, it, the whole entire time they're playing a chess match against each other. Uh, what this guy can do and what he can't do with the ball and who has it. And, and it, so it just comes down to who plays the better chess match. It's not about a better player because all four of these guys can can bring it and, and definitely play at this level. So it's it's not a matter of uh, it, it's just a matter of who gets what touch and where. And the and the fortunate one is the one that's going to end up uh, putting it in the goal. Well, speaking of better players, I always like to pick one at the end of a game. Just a habit of mine. Uh, not necessarily better, but the better performance, in my opinion, goes to Luke Capo. Absolutely dominating performance here in game number four. Gets four out of the five goals off of seven shots. Great shooting percentage. Luke Capo gets my game MVP for game number four. Moving into game number five, it is do or die time for the King Boos. Going to need to win three games in a row in the reverse sweep. And or, well, I guess it's not really a reverse sweep because they technically won game one. I'm thinking of it as a best of five series for whatever reason. And uh, but, is back in. Yeah, Gerherpaderp is back in for Golden Luigi, so they do make the sub back to Uh Like I said, I don't think that there's too much of a difference between Gerherpaderp and Golden Luigi in skill, but I think the mesh was better with Gerherpaderp and Unearthly Legend. I think I think that was the right move, and, and you can't. You can't even say, like, the sub is why that they just got scored on right there, right? Because that's just a beautiful read by Luke Capo. Follows that ball all the way. That is a sharp angle double touch, and Luke Capo should be proud of that one. Yeah, he's doing things right there that are amazing. Uh, uh, you, you just don't do that. Those are things that you practice day in, day out, and uh, and become amazing players. Luke was going to take this off the right-hand side. He's going to get a, uh, maybe another touch. He's going to leave it. He actually 50s are over there, I think, trying to get it by Derp. Got to make a touch here, pushes it out deeper into the blue half. Come the back, and I'm just gonna make a cheeky touch there. Loops up, it's gonna push it down down early edge, and early and takes control, pushes it up the right hand side. It's gonna try to get an air carry. Try Lukapo gets up early and is able to stop that, which uh, which is unfortunately for the orange team as he gets pushed way down. Lukapo is trying to uh, wave dash all the way down to try to get to it as Kanov tries to put up an amazing angle there. Unearthly Legend is going to pick this up, try to push it down, try to get it past Luke Capo. Luke Capo pushes back into the orange half. He's going to try to make another double touch. Crazy angle. Comes in toward the toward the front of the box. Kanov is waiting on. He's going to make a touch. Pinches it back toward the middle. Unearthly Legend has to make a touch here. Luke Capo is coming in strong. Puts it off the back wall. Herbert takes control of it. Luke Capo has a one-on-one -on -one situation with Legend. Legend tries to get it by Legend. Throws the fake. Goes to pick up the 100 boost. Herbert cannot make a touch there. Puts it down in front of the box. Kanov is kind of waiting on him. Man, it's, it, this, this is a barn burner, dude. They, these guys are, are playing a serious chess match. Yeah, they are. Kanab's going to get faked out here a little bit, but Gerherpaderp unable to put it in. Unearthly Legend will chase it back. And uh, Luke Capo is actually able to still maintain control. I really thought they were going to start the counterattack. They even started thinking about it. That's why I paused a little bit. But Luke Capo, really good ball control, able to keep pressure. Good bump there. Kanabs is going to come in into the center. Unearthly Legend does stall it, but doesn't get it out of harm's way. Gerherpeter starts the counterattack, gets the flick over one. Luke Capo, great touch to the outside and maintains control for the counterattack. Not going to have enough boost to get back to that one. So Kanabs comes in and picks up the pieces of that play. 
off the back wall now and unearthly legend stops it but luke capo takes control and this could be dangerous gerherpader does get a soft shot is it hard enough it is knobs can't get back in time and the king boos have tied it up in game number five yeah one and one two forty nine left that was a well uh, well played uh the reapers got caught inside too far and uh and gerherpader was able to get it out put it out front put it throw it down one to one two forty nine left Kickoff comes on. Kanava takes a 50 in the middle. Luke Cable is going to try to take control of this. Gets pushed over toward the wall. Uh, there's no challenge there. He puts it up high. Just forces uh, Gerhardt to go up. Gets a cheeky touch. Kanava's got to make a touch here. Back toward the box. Gerhardt is going to push this out toward the right hand side. Push out toward the box. Arthur Legend makes a touch. Luke Cable has to turn around and retreat. Makes a nice 50 off the wall. He's able to take control of this. Pushes it toward the corner. Kanava's there. Maybe able to get up and push this down. Try to take a shot. Early Legend pushes out Luke Cable. He's got to chase it back into his half. Turns on it. Pushes it back toward the box. Got an air carry. He's going to try to get it over to Herbert Durf. Gets it in. Amazing play. Amazing. I mean, you just don't write this. this that's a crazy play. Best Kiff's play right there. Great pop. Great control. Luke Capo does get the goal in. Peyton, we're sorry it wasn't the trick shot or the flip reset, rather, that you asked for. But that's pretty solid. If you guys really want to see the flip reset goal, you're going to have to manifest it. These players do have the capability, but at least you do have a nice, clean air dribble to take home for you in the clips. Luke Capo is going to also try and reset it again here. Two to one in favor of the Reapers. Two minutes left to play. Unearthly Legend will read that well. Gets the long range clear into the net. And now we're back locked at two to two. 158 left to play. Yeah, Luke Capo wasn't able to get up to it and make that a possession control there. And, 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 Excuse me, Unearthly Legend was able to uh, read that easily and put it down. 2-2, two to two, 158 left. Nice shot. On the kickoff here, Gerherpaderp and Knobs come together. It looks like it will be in favor of the orange side, represented by King Booze. Uh, now Luke Capo actually able to get it out of the blue side. Gerherpaderp does get a nice challenge, puts it across, Ooh. but Knobs is there waiting. Good interception. Not going to be picked up by Luke Capo. I think he got bumped on the way back, and a demo there will probably slow down the attack. Gerherpaderp still trying to make the best out of a bad situation. Keeps pressure. Does have it on the blue back wall. Luke Capo able to bring it out. Finds the flip reset. The double possibly. Yes, he did get the flip again. That is the, the most uncalculated double flip reset I've seen in my entire life. Luke Capo can't quite slam it home off of the backboard there. And so the orange team will tr be able to recoup a little bit. Try and set something up. Unearthly Legend with no boost here. Slims it out for Gerherpaderp who comes in and starts the attack again. And as we take down to the final 60 seconds, who do you think takes the next goal, Strut? Ah, it's an unbelievable game. I don't know. I don't even want to call that because uh, Caster's Curse is terrible. Gerber is going to take uh, control of this out to the right-hand side. Luke Poe is going to take control out in the middle. Pops it up over to the right-hand side. He's going to try to beat Legend. Sets it on the wall. Trying to play with Legend, trying to get it by him. Nob's got to retreat. Luke Capo's in a, he's a little bit of a chase mode, but uh, that's that's their game, so that's what he does. Kanab's going to try to get up over his shot, coming in. It's a great shot by Unearthly Legend. Luke Capo's going to put this up, going to try to take control, get a tip, touch over. He just couldn't quite get it, Croc. 27 is like a 2-2. Two to two. This is going to this is gonna go all the way down the wire. Yes, it is. Gerherpeter clears it out to the outside wall. Kanab's able to keep pressure. Gets up off the wall, leaves it for Luke Capo. Luke Capo with the fake. Kanab's can't read it. And now with the backflip, this could be dangerous. Unearthly Legend does have an opportunity to get it out center. Can't cut around the ball hard enough. So Luke Capo taking it back the other way. Up off the wall, trying to get it around Gerherpeter. Lands on him. Unearthly Legend with the challenge, but the demo there leaves him in a 2v1 situation. Clock is at zero. Ball is in the air. Finds the ground. Smart play from Unearthly Legend. We are in game five overtime. Do or die time for the King Boos. Can they take it, or will the Reapers be doing some reaping here early on in the series to take the championship? Gerherpaderp challenges Luke Capo in the center of the field. Knobs into the corner. Unearthly Legend chases him back. Does get a touch up. Can he bring it all the way across? He can. Unearthly Legend in the air. Challenged by Luke Capo. Knobs tries to get the ball into the pressure zone, but unfortunately challenged by Gerherpaderp. And now it's going to be Unearthly Legend puts it in. We're going to a game six. It is three to two in the series now for the Reapers. They couldn't finish the job in game five. Let's see if they can do it in game six. Unearthly Legend lets the Boos survive another day. Yeah, Luke Capo pushed that out to the right, left hand side, and uh, Earth was able to read it and throw it down. Well played by the King Boos. Uh, this game, the, the shots were about even six to eight. 
Uh, King Boos had six. Reapers had eight. Two goals to three. And uh, one assist for uh, another new legend. So uh, he definitely played a hell of a game at uh, 579 points. And Luke Cape opened in 650. Yeah, Unearthly Legend, the MVP there. Uh, Luke Capo just absolutely dominating for the Reapers, though. And I'll tell you now, I think if Knobs played like he did in game numbers two or three, and maybe even four, he didn't play as great in four, but he still played well. But if he played anything like he did in two or three, this was a Reapers game win. So I think King Boo's got a little lucky here. Only squeaked out a one-goal win. Unearthly Legend has not had a game like he had in Game 2 yet. Gerherpaderp coming off the bench now off of the sub, so maybe he was a little cold. Did, it get a, did get himself a goal and two saves off of three shots. So let's see if he can continue that into Game number 6. They're going to have to play a little bit better, I think, because I don't think they're going to get a sleeping Knobs like they got in the last game. A little bit of a gift for him. So let's see what happens in Game number 6. Chat! Get your predictions in. We won't waste our times on a poll. One, if you think the Reapers are going to take this game number six. Two, if you think the Boos are going to take game number six. Let's get it going. Ball gets pushed out toward the left-hand side. Kanab's going to have to make a read off the backboard here. Gets tied up in the goal. Luka Poe puts it up. He has a little space to work with. Tries to get it by the herp or herp. Knobs on the back wall again. Pushes it out toward the left-hand side. Gets a push down. Gerberter's been able to make a touch. Luke pose up. He's going to be able to make a touch. Get it. Uh, tries to get it by Gerberter. And Obzin makes a 50. It's going to go toward the goal. Everybody's going to take control. He's going to take a shot toward goal. Kanobs is not there. He's not able to make the touch. One to nothing. 426 left, Croc. Yeah, beautiful near post placement here. Unearthly Legend gets the boost. Very smart play because uh, everyone thought Luke, Ca Luke Capo was hitting that ball, right? And he just cuts in, sends it on the near post. Knobs wasn't quite ready for it. 1-0 for the King Boo so far. And we would like to take a moment to thank Grimrall08 TV for that gifted sub to Peach Tundra. Peach Tundra, enjoy your sub. Grim Grimraw, thank you for that sub. And Knobs, thank you for blessing us with another goal here in the Premier 2v2 playoffs. Really good play off the back wall. Gets the ball to slow down. Gets the second touch. Gerherpader can't make it back in time. We are tied up at 1-1. Less than 60 seconds out of this game number six. Moving on now. Knobs putting it towards the right corner. Is going to leave it for Luke Capo. Can they make a play out of this one? Passes it middle. Knobs very smartly turns away. Cannot commit on that. Would have absolutely gotten dusted. So Gerherpader tries to center it out. Intercepted by Luke Capo. Puts a long range shot onto the net. Unearthly Legend there to touch it to the outside. Probably waiting for boost here. We'll go down and get it. And now on the counterattack, 2v1. Touches it a little too far away. And Luke Capo able to make a good smart challenge. And a safe one at that too. But could get demoed from behind. Gerherpaderp not going to be able to find the demo as Luke Capo was jumping. But they do keep the pressure. And Knobs now sends it to the orange half. Let's see if they can get an attack going. But 335-ish left to play. Shrut, this is a much closer game so far, in my opinion, than last game, even though the scoreline was only a one-goal difference. Yeah, both teams are bringing it right here. Knob's going to try to take control of this out of the corner. Luke Capo is going to get it up over. Knob's going to have to retreat. Legend's going to get a booming clear. Going to come down. Gerhurt's going to try to make a touch toward the middle. Luke Capo gets a nice demo. Knob's can't get around back to it, and it's a score. 2-1, to 317 left. Look, I just want to take a look at the patience here. Look at the patience from Unearthly Legend. Realizes Knobs is rotating back to the net. Realizes that um, uh, Luke Capo has just demoed somebody and is really not going to be able to make a play on the ball. Sits and waits. The only other player that can make a play on the ball is Gerherpader, and he just got sent to the Shadow Realm by uh, by Luke Capo. So he takes his time, puts the ball on net in a place that Knobs can't save it. Really smart play from Unearthly Legend and just shows that it takes more than flashy mechanics to be in this premier tier in RSC. You have to have the brains to go along with it. But Knobs showing the mechanical oh, wow. part of the game with the ground pinch, ties it back up. Da-na-na, da-na-na. Baby, yeah, was... ladies and gentlemen, tune in to ESPN later because that's going on the Sports Center Top 10. Yeah, that was definitely a heck of a shot coming off the wall there and getting the ground pinch. 255 left, 2-2. Two to two. Uh, This is going to be a barn burner down at the end, too. Uh, the chess match is on. Both teams have accepted the challenge, and uh, here we go. Knobs takes a slow approach to the ball, gets the hard shot, puts it in behind Unearthly Legend, and you do have to stop and ask yourself what was going through Unearthly Legend's mind here. We did just credit him for his brain, it looks, oh, he just had a lot of momentum off that jump. 
Out off the single jump, he was already halfway across the net. Very unfortunate there. Just couldn't stop his momentum in time. Shot gets put behind him. No way he's saving that one. Three to two in favor of the Reapers. And if the scoreline holds, they will be your premier champions for the inaugural season of the RFC 2v2 League. But there is still at least half the game remaining and more if we get an overtime. Let's see if the King Boos can bring it back. Oh no, but they're going to be one extra goal behind as Knobs puts in a pretty solid angled shot as everybody is caught on the left side of the field. Yeah, Ken, Ken, Ken showing up this game like you asked him to. Uh, you, you said he was going to show up and he did. 4-2, 2 29 left. He was able to get up over there, over and uh, push this down into the goal and uh, here we go. Luca Poe is going to try to take, he retreats back for the 100 boost. Knobs gets a nice 50 going down the other way. Another legend and Kate Luke Kepo is uh, racing toward it. Luke's going to get a touch here out toward the middle. Knob's got to be careful for this big 50. He gets him into the corner. He's going to try to push this out to the box. Luke Kepo is there to try to take a shot. He just takes control, pushes it back to his left-hand corner, and uh, picks up the 100 boost. Goes out in front of the box. Dangerous play. Uh, Luke's going to try to make another touch here, put it out toward the middle. That was a heck of a demo there. Knob's going to try to take a shot. Goes down toward the middle. Nice save by uh, Northly Legend. Northly Legend pushes it out to Herbert. Herbert's going to try to chase this down and get to it down in the corner. He's going to pick up that 100 boost, gets it down toward the box. Lukavu makes a nice uh, demo on Northly Legend back there. He's going to try to get it up. Musty tries to musty out toward the middle. Knobs is up. He's going to try to take control of this. Pushes it back to past to Herbert. Herbert's going to try to get a flick over Northly Legend. Pushes it out toward the left-hand side. Luke Capo is going to take control of this. Herbert is down to make a touch. Pushes it out toward the left-hand side. 50 comes back in toward the back wall. Herb's got to try to make a touch here. Pushes it out. Luke Capo has got to take it. Takes a bump here. He's able to get back to the ball. Man, it's just the chess game is just amazing. Yeah, and uh, place. the mechanics are put on. We saw an attempted musty flick and an attempted breezy flick there, and those definitely would have been clips if either of them connected with the back of the net. Unfortunately for the Reapers, neither of them did. They do still hold a two-goal lead as we tick down into the final 60 seconds. Unearthly Legend going for the flip reset there. Ends up kind of connecting with Gerberderb there a little bit. Uh, a little bit of a miscommunication or a misread on one of their parts. Now Knobs is retreating back. Reads the shot from Unearthly Legend. Unearthly Legend puts it to the outside, trying to just keep pressure here. Knobs taking it back the other way for the counterattack. Passes it down center, looking for Luke Capo. Can't find him. He gets the full boost. Luke Capo now has plenty of time and control in the air. The flip reset, and it's not going to be saved this time. Gerherpeder does his best to get his car on the ball, and we were so we were sitting there thinking for a second that one could have been saved, but unfortunately, if you're a King Boost fan at least, and very fortunately if you're a Reapers fan, that one just sneaks in. Beautiful goal. Uh, big shout-out to Peyton Riley there manifesting the flip reset goal from the chat. Now Knobs is going to get beat here a little bit. Gerherpeter trying to get this goal or this ball towards the goal. 20 seconds left, down by three, and the Reapers are vibing right now. They know they have their three-goal lead. Not a lot of time left in the game. The Fat Lady is walking onto the stage. Clock ticks down. Six seconds left now. Knobs trying his best to just keep the ball out of the blue zone. And there you have it, RSC folks. The Reapers, your first 2v2 Premier Champions. Congratulations to Knobs and Luke Capo. Really, really well done. Four goals off of seven shots for Knobs. Absolutely didn't destroyed in this game. And a cycle for Luke Capo.